still a desire to find the way. Now today we have advantage of technology, digital. And look at the digital revolution that happened in the country in the last few years. And through that digital, we are, we are the most digitalized country in the world. Our per capita mobile data consumption is the maximum in the world. Till about 2012, our per capita mobile data consumption used to be 2 GB. 2 GB a month. And our share to the global data production, mobile data production was also about 2%. Today we are over 22%. And our average, individual average Indian data consumption per month is over 20 gigabyte, 20 GB. It is also because the reach has been extended far and wide to touch every citizen and the cost of the data has been reduced to 125th. The, the data that a, one per, per GB it used to cost, if it cost one, if it cost one rupees earlier, today it cost four paise. So it becomes easily for the people to have access. And it is that is how we could reach out to over 500 million household and opening the bank account. The transfer, the benefit going directly to the people, to the beneficiary, without any middleman, without any one to take away the cut or the share. So the houses were built by the homeless themselves because the money for building the house came to their account directly. This, all these are happening with the involvement of the people, with the mass participation, treating the country as a family. And the result is that today, from the margin, our country, India, is at the center stage of the world. Today, the world looks at India with expectation, expectation to find solution to the global problems. Global problems, be it climate crisis, be it war, be it pandemic, be it poverty and aviation. In all these fields, we are doing incredible work. Country is achieving new and new heights with the, with the unleashing talents of our young men and women with our countrymen and women. Our half the population, women for what is called, Prime Minister calls Nari Shakti. All these years we kept talking about women empowerment, women empowerment, so many schemes were launched. But what happened? What the change? Because with all these, in our country we had a shameful distinction of for every 1,000 men, there were less than 950 women. Not that the women were not being born. There were cases of female feticide. And even after the female child is born, lack of health care, lack of nutrition. And even the mothers, the suffering, Absence, if we didn't have, we, we all talked about education for all. We put it even in the constitution that it is a fundamental right. But then how, how does our daughters get access to education if we do not have toilets in these schools, female toilets in this school? So in absence of that, we kept making laws, we kept making noises, but the fact is our people could not get the benefit as they should have got. Our mothers, when you do not have a toilet in the house, who is the worst sufferer? It is the, our mothers and daughters, those who stay in the house. And when it comes to the kitchen, when you burn coal and wood as a fuel to cook food, who suffers? It is our mothers and sisters. Now, all these transformations that are happening is because you feel, what if you start feeling the pain, if you start realizing in yourself, 
you will start reimagining, you will start getting new and new ideas how to address the problem. And if we are solving these problems, which earlier used to be called, earlier used to be India is such a large country, what, how can we do? We, can, we have this much resources, we can only build so many medical colleges, we can only build so many houses. If today the number of medical colleges in the last eight years have doubled in the country, which happened in the last of almost about seven decades. How did it happen? How did it happen today that everyone has access to mobile, anyone, everyone has access to all those basic amenities? And there are few who are, who are yet to get, they will get shortly because things are moving in a very planned, systematic manner. All the